Welcome to this training on the Zoho Marketing Automation 2.0 dashboards. When you first launch Zoho Marketing Automation, this is your default tab, dashboard. And you'll see here we have our overall metrics. Um, unfortunately, we cannot add metrics and widgets and reports to this dashboard. Uh, this is kind of what Zoho gives us um, from this view. And you see it is pretty basic, but what I wanted to show you is that this is not actually the contacts dashboard. If we come under here under contacts and then choose contacts dashboard, watch what's watch what shows up here, these 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 new tabs. Contacts dashboard. See these now these tabs um, will show different metric components here. So contact summary, this is what Zoho thinks we want to see. And again, we cannot add or delete any of these components. So contact summary, I think these are self-explanatory. I'm not going to go into each one of these. But there's a few things I wanted to point out when using this dashboard. One is by default, it defaults to last 28 days. So I know that I have more than three contacts in my system. Why aren't they being shown? It's because by default, it's last 28 days. So you need to go ahead and change this to entire duration. Now you can see all of your contacts and leads. You can see all their metrics. And so contact summary, this is kind of self-explanatory. It's kind of just taking data from these three tabs and putting it here on the contact summary. If we go into stage stats, these are... Uh, metrics associated just with marketing stages with qualification. So we have our attribution here, stages created by time. You know, it's great to have these pre built filters in here where you can say, show me weekly, right? Monthly. So I encourage you to notice these filters and use these. Source stats where all my contacts coming from. Location stats. Now, one thing that I did want to point out that is very useful is this filter here. Um, we can let's press filter. Now, there's all kinds of smart segment filters that Zoho provides us, right? And so we can say, you know, only show us. You know, let's say only show us the nonprofit organizations in our systems, right? And so how do we do that? Well, you know, people with a .org email address are nonprofit organizations. So let's create a segment. Uh, so we can see segment membership. Um, no, we don't have anything. So if we choose advanced, and we're going to say email, right, contains .org, because .org is the domain of nonprofits. We can choose apply. And now this is going to take a moment to run through it through all your contacts and show you the updated dashboard here. Okay, so we have our one segment applied. So of the .org uh, email addresses, you can see that I have uh, with four or five contacts in my system. Now we'll say if we come in here into segment applied and we edit, we can actually save this as a segment that can be used to target in the future, right? So if we say save segment, save and apply. So now we've created a segment and this dashboard is showing uh, us our metrics contextually. So as I go through these tabs now, um, they should show us only those contacts with the .org uh, email address. And one thing I do want to show you is that uh, we did just create a segment. So here, if we click on the segments here, you'll see that our nonprofit organization segment was created. So you can create segments within the contacts dashboard. Uh, if you do that, just kind of for a one-time, a one-off, you may not want to create a You may not want to create a, a segment that stays in the system. 
And so this is how we interact with the contacts dashboard. I'm not going to go into detail on exactly what these widgets are relaying right now as we'll go into these uh, in a future module. But this is uh, Zoho Market Automations 2.0's dashboard. Uh, it's a huge improvement uh, over Market Automation 1.0 and uh, and I'm super excited to use this in the future for myself and for my clients.